only one Kenobi here, only one. These are the three scout troopers. God, I nearly said scout trooper then. Sure troopers uh, that I have in my possession. And I didn't think I really wanted any more. And I bought this or had this delivered, God, weeks ago. Maybe, well, months, months ago. Can't remember when I got that, but still I bought it. And um, I decided I want to open it because, primarily because of, because of, um, because of Andor. Really loving Andor. Now, Shore Troopers do appear elsewhere as well. You see them in Mandalorian Season 2, which is really good. They're there on that planet where they're kind of like, with the, you know, they've got the tank. And they're dressed up as tank drivers or whatever. Mando and um, Migs Mayfeld. But I really thought I had all the uh, Shore Troopers I needed. I only have one small section up there for Rogue One. And... I've got enough for my own army building purposes. Now, I'm myself, and you might want tons of a particular figure, but I have two of this guy, which is the fully articulated Vintage Collection one. Lovely figure. You, you can see there's a wash, bit of dirt on there, whether in full articulation. Then there was this guy, which is the 5POA equivalent, which you got in the Rogue One line, movie line, if you like. Lovely ball joint there. But as ever with troopers, you really want them to bend their arms, don't you? Because if any character needs to be able to articulate their elbows, it's a, it's a stormtrooper. Political characters, I don't care. Five POA is fine, but for these guys. But anyway, he's just stood there, as you can see, and that does the job. Bit of variancy, background filler. And then there's this guy, and I think he came with another figure in Rogue One. That guy with the mouth, I think. But anyway, he's pretty cool. So, again, I, I had this, and I was like, well, oh, I don't really want any more loose. Don't need them, but... I'm really curious now, and I, I do want more of these. <laughs> to cut a long story short, I do want more. I'm thinking about putting some on um, a few of the shelves other than the Rogue One shelf I have. And again, I, I, th I said Scout Trooper before, I meant to say Shore Trooper. That's because that, that's, how, that's how cool they are. I love the color of them. I love the settings that they're involved in. These beach locations are really cool. I'm, I'm starting to really dig Shore Troopers. Especially when we saw that one in, in uh, Andor acting like a pushy copper, like a stormtrooper. All right, let me see some identification. You know, that whole thing that just goes right through the thread of the heart of Star Wars. And uh, other than seeing them running around on a beach or say, doing and saying nothing much other than getting shot down, they were involved with processing criminals and interviewing and interrogating. So that's why They've kind of like gone up in my estimation. <laughs> anyway, a bit of background there as to why I want to open this now. So this is the four pack that you got with the um, the vintage collection. I've just opened and reviewed the Stormtroopers, which were actually a gift to me from good friend Lara V, which were awesome. These were not available, or well, they were hardly available here in the UK. And then I also have the, um, what are they called now? Bear with me. Yeah, the village people, the rebel troopers, got them. I passed on a few others. I passed on the Echo Base guys. I, I just didn't feel a desire for them. I passed on these clones, because I've already got loads of them. And also the guy who should have been yellow was blue. They should have had at least one of this guy with yellow paints, because that's never been done before. They gave you the blue guy, the lieutenant, I believe he is. So I passed on that, you know, We've got to watch our pennies, ladies and gentlemen. There's a fuel crisis and blah de blah on. I also didn't buy the Death Troopers because, personally, for my own collection, I, I, there's only so many of them I want. But with these, I am really interested to know what their pattern is like. And I think, let's have a look at this guy here. I'm, I'm assuming one of these or one or two of these have got um, blue paint on them. Let's have a look at this. You've got this guy here. And I think that looks like him. So if there's going to be an articulated version of him, boom, that's good news. And there's this guy here with a solid blue chest. So that's also intriguing. And I wonder how the others look. Have they got any kind of markings that differentiate them from these guys from Rogue One? Interesting. So I'm looking forward to this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I'm going to now open this, but before we do that, let me just show you if there's anything else in the packaging. It's worth showing you. Here's the other side there. 
and then you've just got vintage collection on the side. What have we got here? Just some security bumped warnings and blah blah and there's that. And that is it. There's nothing to show you. Or more crap there. So exciting. Gonna mount the camera. I think it's time I got these open. And then I will compare them with these. Let's do it. And we are in, and much like the Stormtroopers you saw the other week, that's the setup. Minimal plastic, which is very good. More recyclables, and that's quite nice just to keep everything from getting crushed. And let's bring out the first man. Let's start on the left. Now, the one on the left for the Stormtroopers was the, like, commander guy. So let's see what this guy is. These have all been re reviewed already on such channels as Bosk's... Oh, look at him. Oh, he is nice. Bosk's Bounty. I can't even remember if I've watched people's reviews on this, because they... I don't dislike them. I just think once you've seen one, you've seen them all and they're only in Rogue One, but no, 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 no. As I said, they're in Mandalorian season two and now they've got this whole new lease of life in, um, in, in, in Andor. And I really, really like him a lot more now. That's awesome. So basically what you're looking at there is this guy from the Rogue One line. That's 5POA. This is multi-articulated and he's got soft goods thingy. Watch out, I keep forgetting what that's called. Carmel or Camel or something, the Camo, can't remember. Bruh. And um, look at that, a little bit of dirt on there as well. Can you see it? Let's just get on that there. You see a little bit of grime on him. Like it. That's really good. Great start. Loving that. The gun, you've got this E11, is it, Blaster? Shit, man, I should know my stuff, shouldn't I, really? I tend to do these videos by just turning them on, turning the camera on and recording it. That I've seen before. Yeah, there you go. Caught the cat, caught the focus. That's the same as the one you got. Has it got any touch-ups on it? Well, yeah, it has slightly. Maybe I don't know. Though. No, they're the same. The detail or anything that's gone into that is the same as this one here, which came in the uh, five POA line. So it doesn't matter. It's only a small detail. Let's get this guy out. Oh, I like this one as well. Look at this. Right, let's just keep these weapons separate there. Look at him. Let's focus on him. Nice. Look at that. Love it. Can't beat that variancy of paint application and stuff. Brilliant. Don't know what rank he is, though. He's got that white there. I think that means something. You know, on the eye, the episode of Andor, the eye, um, they were troopers. They weren't wearing helmets. They were the kind of the green troopers. You know, like those mud troopers you see on um, Mimban. One of them had that white stripe, which I believe is... Um, that's got a rank, hasn't it? A bit like the pauldrons. White is... is it? I don't want to get this wrong now. Lieutenant or sergeant or something like that. I think it might be sergeant, actually, or corporal. I can't remember. But that's him. He's also got that white stripe as well, this other fella. He has got no whatever they're called, I keep forgetting the name of them. Carmel? Carol Mom? Carmels? I can't remember what they're called. Bruh, bruh. Please excuse my ignorance. Now, what have we got left? I'm assuming the next two are going to be like our man here. But it would be nice if they had something about them that was a little bit different, but we'll soon find out. I'm guessing they're going to be the same. They're not going to mess around, are they, Hasbro? They're not going to... If all three were different, then that would be awesome. Right, let's have a look at this guy. No, he is 100% the same. Let's have a look at any, any variants of dirt. Well, yeah, that is actually pretty cool. Look at that. See the chest? This is the guy I've just opened. It's got a slightly dirtier chest than him. So that I like. Variancy. Brilliant. And let's open up number four. So thank you, Tony Gilroy. You've actually helped me open my uh, my stuff. Ah, this is interesting. Now they do have similar amounts of dirt. Obviously came in the same batch or something like that. Whereas this guy from the Black Series, actually, I opened it from the Black Series three and three quarter, is, uh, has less weathering. So these two are similar. So what I should do, <laughs> if I'm hearing my own peace of mind is, Keep these two together because they are differently weathered. Have them on a shelf and then maybe have this one on a separate shelf. You know what I mean? If you want to do that. Well, you suppose you could just get a, a lead pencil, a graphite pencil, sorry. And if you 
really wanted to add more weather than you could to give it some differentiation. Variancy. All right, that's everything. There's really not much more I can say. Let's have a look at the back of the guy. What's that there? Is that just a mistake? The sun is setting, ladies and gentlemen, rapidly, so it's getting very dark in here. We are in November, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 5th of November today that I'm filming this. Guy Fawkes night. So I don't know when I will have this video out, but uh, I like to sometimes drop when I've, you know, in my script. <laughs> or let you know when I'm filming it, because God knows this could be well into the future, well after that date. But there they are, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching that. They are nice. They're lovely. They are still available on Hasbro Pulse, I think. Um, but I, don't quote me on that. I hope I've not got that wrong and I've disappointed a load of people who go over to Pulse. So I'm talking about Pulse UK there. I'll tell you what wasn't available. These, God damn it, they were not available, which is really annoying. They sold out in seconds and they were only available to Pulse members and uh, they, uh, anyway, but I'm only, I'm very lucky to get hold of them via my good friend, Lara V, who sent me that. Uh, about a week or so ago, I received that package, but still, these are the Shore Troopers. Really nice, fantastic, lots of areas I can put them on my shelves that you see behind here. Thank you for watching, I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. <laughs>